hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use the hub here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to use the hub here in Microsoft Planner, all you're going to do is log into your account and I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard. You have the My Day, My Tasks, and of course, the My Plans. Now, the My Plans, this is essentially the hub, all right? The hub planners right here can give you all the access to the plans that you are working. You can choose from the most recent ones to the shared plans personal and of course the pinned all right so these are going to be on the options basically this whole entire interface is the microsoft planner hub all right and if you want to add a new plan here for another additional plans for your microsoft hub all you're going to do is click on the add a new plan right here it takes a little while you can choose from any of the given templates right here all right it takes a little while just wait for it now, from here, all I have to do is create a plan by clicking on this option. And of course, you can do a lot here, all right? You can add a new task, so on and so forth. You can add a new bucket, add a task. Right here, add a new bucket. Enter the task name right here, all right? So you have all of these options. And once you have created another plan here on your Microsoft Hub right here, you can basically arrange that into a grid view or in you can add a label all right for example the uh cranberry and edit this say for example hub all right so these are going to be some of our options and if you want to share this specific plan to inside your microsoft hub all they're going to do is click on the share settings right here adding members to the existing group or if you want to create a group you can also use that and add members to create a group group right here and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one